certainly for nation states, a key part of what they do is bring in external intelligence, human intelligence, satellite intelligence, other geospatial intelligence. But more broadly, for nations and for uh, companies and other organizations, we need to consider the context. And oftentimes, technical folks don't know the broader political context. Um, so context is important, and context can often provide a motive for an investigation. We can observe the opportunity and the capability at the technical level, but oftentimes we need the operational level to spot the motive, to understand why an adversary might be doing what they're doing. And this can be a key part of attribution. So right away, a lot of people were assuming that North Korea had hacked Sony because of the movie The Interview. Um, some folks were like, oh, no, it's a head fake by the Russians. But the obvious inclination is to move towards North Korea. And that should be a factor in the process. We should try to run down those leads. And oftentimes, that requires talking to folks who are outside our technical teams. But it's very important to gather that information, to not uh, take it blindly, but to use it as part of the process as you generate hypotheses and then um, rule some ideas out and rule some ideas in. As I said, I won't belabor these questions too much. Let's just move to the strategic layer. At this point, we're going to very senior people in the organization, and they need to answer some questions. Who's responsible for ordering the attack? Who took the initiative? Who benefits from this? What was the attack's objective? Uh, in most organizations, these determinations are made by senior folks, CISO level and so forth. Um, their job is to marshal the evidence and to make the determine what the corporate line or the organizational line is going to be. They also, uh, at the strategic level, need to decide on the response or the recommended response when it goes out to be communicated. And this is where, as I said, I think attribution is a question of politics as well as technology. For nations, this question here is not a technical question. We start thinking about prospects of escalation. We start thinking about prospects of deterrence. We start thinking about what else might have been breached? Do we have full visibility into our networks? All of that goes into determining a response. And like I said, technical analysis is necessary for that, but it's hardly sufficient. I mentioned that uh, we had three parts to the model, uh, and it was sort of circular. That would be an O model. This is a Q model. So the hook on the Q is communications. And uh, in the Sony, uh, North Korea, FBI case, for example, that highlights a lot of the challenges in communication, which is organizations, whether they're corporate organizations or government organizations, don't really have the ability to go out and just say something is true. They often need to provide some evidence. But the challenge in attribution is that you might harm some of your attribution capabilities if you tell the adversary or tell the world and thus tell the adversary how you know what you know. And nations and organizations need to devise ways to do communication that doesn't burn those capabilities. So in the case of North Korea and Sony, it's reported that one of the reasons the United States was rock solid confident that the North Koreans hacked Sony is the United States had hacked North Korean networks and was looking around to see uh, what was going on. If not necessarily in real time, close enough to it to be confident in what they found. The US doesn't want to come out and say this. So communication is a key challenge because you have this trade-off, this dilemma in revealing what you know. It's also a key challenge because all organizations are reluctant to admit uncertainty. And the one organization that often are, are getting better at it, they've had a lot of practice being wrong at it, is the intelligence community. So they've developed what they call language of estimative probability. So when they brief internally, they'll say this is probably true, this is likely true, it's more likely than not this is true. And one of the recommendations we make is that organizations, when they speak to the public, try to use this language as, wa as well. Try to bring out a little bit more nuance in their communications. And again, whether or not they do that is a political choice, but we think that ultimately leads them more credibility in doing attribution. And if they can't say why they know something, they'll reveal that they just can't say why they know something. And they'll reveal what evidence they can for a particular case and state their level of certainty. 